Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy. It's a pleasure. It's an honor as usual being out here in nature and greeting you, bringing this message of self-emancipation to you, this message of self-realization whereby by I'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover your identity to be your divinity. That's the reason why I want to speak to you today concerning the power of positive thinking and how you need to think more positively if you're going to raise your vibration to be on the right frequency and be of more value with your creative energy. Now, everything is energy, vibration, and frequency. And for you to operate on that right energy, vibration, and frequency, if you have been brought up in believing in secular Christianity, you have to rearrange your mind and start accepting the Bible as psychological. That's the reason why my brother and my sisters, the base of my teaching is that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. For the Bible is not literal, neither is it secular history. For it was written symbolically. And the reason why I mention the Bible, because our belief system is what is creating our reality because our belief system would mean what mentality we would embrace or how we would grow up. Now many of us grew up in communities or in families that believe in religion and that kind of belief is what was used to guide us in life. And so, if a person grew up in a family where there's a lot of negativity or there's a lot of poverty, most likely they can repeat that same cycle in their life unless they change their mentality. So, if you're going to think positively, it takes information to help you to think more positively. Now, in my early stage of coming to self-realization, I would have listened to an audio book that was written by a monk named Norman Vincent Peale, where he spoke about the power of positive thinking. And when I listened to the power of positive thinking, I decide to go on a mental diet by deciding to think positively at least for one week and whenever a negative thought comes into my mind to block that negative thought and focus on something more positive. And when I decided to do that, I asked myself, where is the devil that I was told that is tempting me to do this and to do that? Because everyone tends to blame a devil. And I've never seen a devil. I've only seen the manifestation of the action of people around me. People would kill, they would rape, they would steal, they would do all of these things. And the religious minded people say it is the work of the devil. But the, the, the ones who are performing the work are the people themselves. And those who pay the penalty by being incarcerated in prison. They are the ones who are paying the price for their actions. I'm not seeing a devil being arrested. So my brother and my sisters, having a mentality whereby you're superstitious or are religious 
is robbing you of existing in a positive mindset when you need to always have a positive mindset so you'll always have a positive outcome so so when you think more highly of yourself and you have the right concept of yourself that is positive thinking when you have the right concept of money and you look at money the way how money is supposed to be looked at when you look at riches abundance prosperity when you look at all these things in your life and seeing yourself worthy of them seeing yourself being the person that you would like to see yourself being in this world bringing value to humanity uplifting humanity all of that is positive thinking so the power to think positively and the power to think negatively is in every one of us but my encouragement to you is to harness the power of positive thinking harness the power of positive thinking by questioning the things that were taught to you from a little child because only until you question those things that you will be able to exercise your mental faculties like your will your intuition your perception your reasoning your your memory your imagination it is only when you start to get into the vibration of positive thinking that you would realize that the educational system was used to block you from getting into the positive mindset of life because they have put you in a place of competition in the rat race they have point you in the direction of going after the getting before the being when you're supposed to discover yourself first you're told to seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you and the kingdom of god is within you it is it is discovering your god self your creative self your higher self so it is very important to harness the power of positive thinking you will always be in a happy mood when you practice the power of positive thinking you will never find yourself gossiping and indulging in idle speaking and foolish gesturing when you practice positive thinking you wouldn't find yourself getting caught up with the latest news and all the propaganda and social media when you practice positive thinking because when you practice when you start practicing positive thinking you will find time to be with yourself you're gonna find time to meditate you're gonna isolate yourself from all the distractions and you're gonna focus your thoughts on the things you want you will be thinking on the things that you don't want instead you'll be focusing on the things that you so desire in your life that will uplift you and not just you alone your family those around you and humanity as a whole will benefit from your work they will benefit from your creativity that you was willing to share with the rest of your society with the rest of humanity also so my brother my sisters i'm encouraging you to embrace your gift because your gift will make way for you your gift will open up doors for you and also to believe in yourself and to know that when you believe in yourself you're believing god you're believing in god 
Because to believe in God is to believe in yourself. To use your imagination is to use your God power because God is your own human imagination. The creator in every man. Thus the reason why you're told without him there's not anything made that was made and that all things was made by him. That him is not a man 2,000 years ago named Jesus. That him is a personification of your own human imagination which is the creator in man. So my brother and my sisters, I'm encouraging you to get away from religion. Get away from propaganda. Get away from attachment. Get away from all the things that would be success blockers in your life by learning to think positively. Be always positive in all your situations. Everything that you're going through, be positive. Say to yourself, all things work together for good. Say to yourself, nothing happened by coincidence. Say to yourself, what am I supposed to learn from this experience, from this thing that is happening to me? Because everything that is happening to us in this life is a lesson and we have to use it that way. So when people see giants in their life and saying that they can't overcome, there are others who are seeing what, what others are seeing as giant as actually grasshoppers. And they're saying, we are more than able to take the land. We are more than able to possess our inheritance. To take our inheritance and to live in our inheritance. So my brother and my sister, you be one of those positive ones. There, there's a lot of negativity all around. But when you realize that you're the Lord and Master, the creator of your life, and you can create your world, when you create your world based on your positive thinking, you're going to attract, attract positive people around you. You're going to attract positive situations around you. You're going to attract everything that is good and everything that is positive and everything that is uplifting and everything that brings joy and peace to you. You're going to be living in, in, in your heavenly places, in your Christ self. So my brother and my sisters, there is power in positive thinking. So if you want to go beyond the power of Caesar and you want to experience true power, I'm encouraging you to practice positive thinking in every situation in life. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I believe... I've got my message across to you with this encouragement whereby I'm encouraging you to think more positively in spite of what is happening. And if what I'm saying, if it's resonating with you and it's, this, is, this is the first time you're on this channel and you haven't subscribed already, I'm encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this message. And I just want to remind you, as usual, this message I bring to you is the single eye message of self-realization of which Matthew 6 22 says if I be single your whole body would be full of light and my brother and my sister hadn't it been that I would have awakened within myself as a fiery being and holy and earthly wind and ascended and burst my contract and became invisible I mean sent to teach you the power of the invisible the power of positive thinking the power of being in touch with your higher self your God self I wouldn't have been here bringing this message of enlightenment to you and always giving you the symbol of the single eye and telling you to think positively because this symbol is not a symbol of anything evil or anything sinister. It is a symbol of the all-seeing God within you. It is the eye of Horus as many in the like chemetic realm would say and I always say to you it is the inner sun and I always say that when you have this experience you come to realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N and that is the dawning of a new day in your life 
for the sun parallels the human imagination, the human imagination parallels the sun. And without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. For the Bible says in Psalms 8 for 11 that the Lord thy God is a sun and a shield and no good thing will he withhold from you. And in Malachi 4 and 2 he says that the sun of righteousness shall arise in you with the healing in his wings. And as I would have said before, the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. For without the human imagination there isn't anything made that was made. And without the sun there is no life and there is no light. So my encouragement to you is to use your mind power, which is your sun power, your solar power, your God power, to achieve your every desire. So with that being said, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.